For once, everybody seems to agree. Political arguments have no place in the IDF. Except everything in the country that prides itself as the only democracy in the Middle East is politically charged. This time the conflict centers around an incident that took place last week where soldiers physically and verbally abused left-wing activists in the West Bank city of Hebron. One of them gloating about the incoming far-right lawmaker Itamar Ben-Gvir's political win in the latest elections. An investigation found the soldier's actions unbecoming, and an IDF commander sentenced the bragging soldier to 10 days in military prison. Ben Gvir and other right-wing politicians claimed the activists had provoked the soldiers and slammed the commander for the punishment which led to IDF Chief of Staff Aviv Kohavi on Wednesday saying that political interference in military decisions was unacceptable and would not be allowed. In a mutual blame game, Ben Gvir responded saying Kohavi himself should refrain from political statements. Incoming Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu joining in the sentiment, saying the IDF is the people's army and should be kept out of political arguments. Outgoing Prime Minister Yair Lapid called the right-wing statements wild incitement. And last but not least, Defense Minister Benny Gantz used the opportunity to slam his political foe. The responsibility to stop this serious trend rests first and foremost on the incoming Prime Minister Netanyahu, who knows very well what words mean. If the words we hear turn into actions, I am very afraid for the existence of the IDF as the people's army. Those who love the IDF soldiers do not harm their commanders. Those who love the IDF soldiers do not play dangerous political games on their backs. Meanwhile, the jailed soldier wrote a letter of apology, and his request to dismiss or lessen his sentence is now being evaluated.